Hi, everybody. It's uh, Father Ed Wade. It's um, 3.30 Sunday, May the um, 17th. And uh, I'm here to do a, a brief video in preparation for Monday night's Ring of Fire program uh, on the uh, 19th of May at 7.30 Central Time and 8.30 Eastern Standard Time in whatever other area you may live in if you so choose to watch it. Uh, we've been sharing uh, these people I've been dealing with and doing this program, where we want to go with this and what's the next direction. And the, overwhelm the overwhelming sense was we need to start praying more for healing and evangelization. Continue having witnesses as we're doing, but uh, to, to pray for evangelization, for signs and wonders. And we look at the life of Jesus. Uh, people followed him because of what they heard him say when he taught. And they also followed him because of what he did. The blind see, the lame walk, and the deaf hear. And we kept on talking about that. And to use the media, we should be doing this more and more and more. Uh, praying for the sick. And we have quite a few people, Jen, Jennifer with her son, Kyle. And uh, other people that are calling in and contacting me or asking for prayers. So why don't we want to have it open this coming Tuesday and see what happens. And what really struck me was in preparing for this. This is not going to be, uh, this is going to be very brief. You've heard me say that before, but I mean it this time. In today's Mass, the sixth Sunday, it says this in the first reading was taken from the Act of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 5 to 8 and 14 to 17. It says this, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs that he was doing. For unclean spirits came crying out in a loud voice, and many possessed people, and there were the people that were paralyzed or crippled, uh, and people were cured. There was great joy in the city. Now this is, let's go back. This is Philip going in to Samaria, and the people were waiting for him, and they proclaimed Christ. He just talked about Jesus, the name of Jesus, the Jesus, right? And after he did that, he said, and then they not only heard it, but the signs he was doing for unclean spirits crying out in loud voices came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. And there was great joy in the room. So Jesus, it was the proclamation of the gospel. People, as I said before, people follow Christ because of what they heard them say. Then they followed because of what they did, what he did. And this is how he gathered and formed the church. And this is what Philip did after being baptized in the Holy Spirit. We'll be talking about that again in a week on Pentecost Sunday, praying for the baptism for the Holy Spirit for anybody else who wants it, or the renewal of the Holy Spirit to empower them, re-energize them, even for myself, to re-energize. And so that's what we want to do this coming, uh, this coming Tuesday, to use the program, the Ring of Fire. Again, I want to repeat myself, a little redundant Eddie. 7.30 Tuesday Central Time, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to praise the Lord, and we're going to pray for the sick. And, and so I'm asking the team that has been joining up close you know, with me, team, I use that term lightly because we're still trying to find who we are, what we're doing, but we're, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. So we decided let's go for it. We want to go for it. We want to open up the door to what God wants to do. We want to proclaim the gospel and then pray. And I'm going to ask everybody, especially the, my team friends, to pray for words of knowledge prior to coming to this. Don't just come in and watch it happen. We've got to be ready to say, what is God saying to you? And we want to bring that forward in the name of Jesus. Get up and walk in the name of, if you can't see, get up, open up your eyes, rub your eyes. We want to go for it. We want to do exactly what uh, what Philip did and the early apostles did. We really feel we're called to do this and we're going to do it. So that's the purpose of next Tuesday to pray for healing. So I want the word to get out on Facebook, not only to the team members, there I go again saying team members, but also anybody watching this watching this video or free, or free Tuesday night to come and join us and bring your burdens, bring your burdens, bring your illnesses, I don't care what it is, cancer, diabetes, whatever it is, just bring it. 
and we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're just going to call in the name of Jesus, as Philip did, and we're going to ask for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to be upon uh, each and every one of you. And so I just want to encourage my teammates to be ready for this, to get ready and be prepared for the power of God's Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, I ask your blessings upon this video that you'll stir up the faith. First of all, stir up my faith, Lord God, but stir up the faith of anybody watching this video to get the word out and to come watch and be part of this uh, this this program. I don't even like to use the word program, but I don't know what else to call it. Uh, but we're going to do it. We're just going to talk about the name of Jesus, the holy name of Jesus, and pray for and pray as as Philip did to proclaim it and let's see what happens. So I ask your blessings upon this video for anybody who watches it, for Jen who's doing the updating it right now, for Fiat Ministries, for uh, uh, for Kent Kowalski, and for all all my brothers and sisters who have joined together with me to 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 make this ministry possible. Lord, I ask your blessings upon all my dear friends out there. Send forth your Holy Spirit upon them. And may the blessings of Almighty God be upon each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And let's go for it, everybody. Let's really go for it. Let's just ask the Holy Spirit, uh, the third person of the Blessed Trinity, just to set us on fire. Amen. God bless you.